In Welcome To, you're competing to build the best neighborhood. Do you focus on giving your houses swimming pools, building lots of parks, or keep the city happy by meeting their plans? Thank you so much to the people that support Actual Oil on Patreon. Help fund more reviews like this by pledging at patreon.com forward slash actual lol. Welcome to is a roll and write game. What that means is that everyone has an identical sheet of paper to build their neighborhood on, and everyone shares the same options every turn of the game. I can do exactly the same thing as you if I want, but I won't. I'll make better decisions. It's such an enticing setup. We're all identical quadruplets born into the same world and offered the same opportunities. Who will best use them to their advantage? Whose plan will work and make mum proudest with a paper certificate to prove it? Roll and write games tend to be simple and focused. Welcome to prefers to give you options, more room to flex your decision-making dynamo, more rope with which to show off your knot tying skills or hang yourself. Each round, there are three pairs of cards a number and an action. You have to pick one of those pairs to use. You write the number into any empty house on a street, any street. Numbers have to run from low to high, left to right. As my streets fill up, I'm hoping that certain numbers will appear. By using cards instead of dice, there's at least some guarantee that the numbers you want will show up eventually. But which numbers should you take? You're all racing to complete these city plans. They're shared goals, and if you complete them first, you get way more points than anyone else. To complete this city plan, you need to create three housing estates of one, four, and five houses. The houses need to be built, i.e. have numbers in, be next to each other, and be fenced off. These city plans are Welcome To's best bit. For a game that can feel like there's a lot of options, they give you something to focus on, and they create tension. They encourage you to keep an eye on your opponent's streets, to see which goals they're headed towards and whether they're likely to cut the ribbon before you do. Roll and write games can often be accused of lacking interaction between players. Here you're in direct competition and it brings the game alive. It gives you a reason to care about it beyond the ever so tiresome you get points that's in every game. You need to finish first because your pride's at stake because if you don't, Billy will get it and he'll be unbearably smug for the rest of the evening. But if the goals aren't happening for you, it might be worth shifting focus. In Welcome To, there are plenty of ways to get points. If a swimming pool card comes up, you can write the matching number in a house that has a space for a pool. Pools are valuable, so you feel like a failure every time you have to write a number into a house that has pool potential and you don't have that pool card. They're really hard to fit in once your streets start filling up. Why not build them early when the streets haven't been ruined by your stupid biro and its stupid decisions? No, wait, don't do that then you won't get the city plans done in time. Unless, of course, you can achieve both at the same time. Nice pipe dream, buddy. Instead, what happens is you end up half-arsing both jobs, leaving yourself with a street so ludicrously numbered that you'll give your postal worker an aneurysm. If you take a number paired with a temp worker, you can change that number plus or minus two, making that nine and 11, which will help you fit things in when you need it. If you use Abyss, you can duplicate a number you've already got on your street, like adding a 9a. But the more you take the bis, the more points you lose. When you use a bis, you get to build two houses, so you can use it to fill up your sheep faster than everyone else. It could be worth bissing away some points just to get those city plan bonuses. Another avenue to victory is to fence off housing estates and use the real estate action to increase the number of points you'll score from them. Welcome To is a roll and write game with flexibility. It packs more tough, interesting decisions into 20 minutes than most games do into an hour. It's that depth that has made it the new darling of roll and write games favored among reviewers. But for this reviewer, it isn't perfect. By offering all these options, it loses the purity and immediacy of other roll and write games. But more than that, it loses the punch. It's too nice. My two favorite roll and write games are Quinto and Kokoro. Both games encourage you to take big risks to get big rewards. Then you anxiously wait and see if the dice or card gods will look on you favorably, cursing with each reveal. In Welcome To, you don't have those desperate moments because the punishments are too soft. If you make errors in Welcome To, you get a maximum of five minus points. In Quinto, you can get minus 20. Knowing that's a possibility is what makes every roll mean something. 
Quinto has big moments where you shout out loud, big wins and big losses. Welcome to doesn't play at that level. It doesn't try to. It wants everyone to get points. It uses cards to create more predictability, but with predictability, you remove the possibility of surprise. If ever there was a meritocratic roll and write game where the win goes to the most studious of identical quadruplets, then Welcome To is it. It might be fair, but it's also kind of dull. I want to reach dizzying highs or hit terrifying lows in my roll and write games. I'll save the creamy middles for real life. There's a link to where you can buy Welcome To in the description below. If you like this review and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell to be notified of future videos. And if you want to support more reviews like this, go to patreon.com forward slash actual I'm John Perkis. Thanks for watching. <laughs>